Hey guys, be sure to press like and subscribe. Today I want to talk about eating healthy in the Philippines. I know we've been talking a lot about budgets and insurance and a lot of you guys are getting burned out on that. So I thought I'd change it up a little bit and probably for the next few weeks, we're going to talk about some different subjects. I'm probably going to sprinkle a few other things in there that we've been covering just to also I'm going to talk a little bit about social security probably coming up in the next few days and whether we should take um, social security earlier or later. So I'm going to discuss that um, and how it, you know, how it can affect you over here. Okay. Because we've been covering all this stuff and I know a lot of people are getting worried. Well, am I going to make it, you know, am I going to be able to come over there earlier? So we're going to talk about that, but today we're going to, we're going to, I just want to let you guys know about that so you guys will know what's coming up in the future. But today we're going to cover about diets. And let's get into this. Um, the Philippines has a lot of issues over here as far as like diseases and, and health issues. And their diet is, to be honest with you, it's not the best diet because of there's a lot of salt in their diet. People t tend to have a lot of high blood pressure issues. There's also a lot of diabetes over here because of the, of the, of the rice issue. A lot of sugar in their foods, things like that. But mostly it's the rice and the starches in the diet because they, they eat a lot of starchy foods. Corn, in some sections of the Philippines, they eat corn more than others. Um, mostly it's the, it's the diet of rice, okay? And, that's the, and, and the salt also is really heavy in some of their foods. And it tends to be a greasier, so they have a lot of heart disease and diabetes, okay? And for Americans coming over here, the, the average age of a Filipino dying over here is about 72, okay? And when a, when an American comes over here, it tends to go right into dip right from like, like around 78 to 80, I believe it is in the United States, right down to like 72 here from what I see over here. Because everybody I talk to and everybody I see over here that dies, they usually die, I see them dying at 67, 68, 70, 72. Um, there's not too many people that I know that live past 72. And if you do, you're very lucky. And I notice that the people that live to be like 73, 74, 75, they're not in good condition. You know, they're not like, like I see a 75 year old back in the States. They're, they're usually healthier. They're getting around They're They're doing things still. A lot of the ones over here that I see are very unhealthy. Um, they don't have the income to, to take care of themselves. And I, and I get worried about when I see people like that because they're not eating right. And, and that's where, where, what we're going to get into on here. Now, a lot of the ways to alleviate these problems over here in the Philippines is this. I don't like to you know, sell stuff on Lazada, but Lazada has many different stores on there. So it's not like going telling people to go directly to one store or use one store. Because Lazada is not really a store. It has many different people that sell in there. Lazada is similar to Amazon, okay? But they sell um, oatmeal on there. Okay, and I really want to highly recommend that Americans throw a lot of oatmeal in their diet for several reasons because it tends to wash all that cholesterol out and it tends to lower your cholesterol and it, it's, it's good for both the, 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 the bad cholesterol and the, the good cholesterol, okay? It, it kind of levels them out. <clears throat> the other thing is a simple thing of just adding cinnamon on top of your, your oatmeal will also take out cholesterol too. And, and also, the other thing about oatmeal is it also helps you with uh, blood pressure, okay? Um, it, it helps with both those things. Okay, and th the other thing is that you really want to watch the salt in your diets over here, guys. You really, really have to watch your salt over here. The, the, the salt that they put in their foods over here, even when you go into a Western restaurant and I've gone into a local pizza place around here that begins with S and I won't mention the name you know I'll let you figure it out and you know it's a local pizza place around here and it's it's all around the Philippines and it's pretty common around here and it's it's a western western pizza place and let me tell you something I don't know what they're doing with their salt there if they pour the whole salt shaker on that pizza or not but every time I go in that place afterwards my blood pressure is sky high and my blood pressure back in the U.S. was normal. And since I've gotten over here, it started going up. So, and my diet hasn't really changed that much. But I've start, started to change it, you know. So the thing over here is you have to go into restaurants and check their food. Because even that place is lasagna, 
okay, and they had lasagna there. It was so salty I couldn't eat it, you know, because, my, you know, with my blood pressure already high, I have to watch my salt, so I have to be really careful of where I go. And one of the restaurants that I noticed that does watch the salt that they put in their food is this, is Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers, i got to commend them that their food is really delicious. It's not over-salted. It's, it's decent food. It's, it's good. It's healthy. Um, I enjoy their foods because they have a lot of vegetables. They have fruits in there. They have fruit drinks. They have good healthy drinks. They have water. They have uh, mango juice. Um, they have just about everything you can think of. They have iced tea. They have, they have Coca-Cola, too, if you want Coca-Cola. But, I mean, I wouldn't recommend that, even though I'm a big Coke fan. Um, the other thing over here is herbs. Okay, I want to get into this a little bit. And this really doesn't correlate to your diet too much, but sometimes it does because you can put some herbs in your foods. Okay? The thing about herbs here is you can go down and get the capsules, almost anything you want at any local mall here. And the herbs over here are different, and you need to start studying. I, I, I went to one of the malls around here, and that lady handed me a paper. And I, every time I go there, I grab one anyway. And it gives all, all the Asian herbs over here what they're good for, the, all the Filipino herbs and stuff. It tells you what they're good for, if they're good for sugar, if they're good for this and good for that. And umpalaya is one of them that grows on the trees, usually right around here. And I, I, I'm, I, I'm probably looking at a couple of umpalaya trees around here. My eyes aren't that good. But th we have umpalaya out here because my girlfriend comes out here and picks the leaves and puts them in food. And she eats that food. Now, I'm not too keen on eating it that way. I'd rather just take it in a capsule form and, and have it lower my blood sugar. But I will say this. The umpalaya is one of the things that, that lowers your blood sugar. Um, there's, there's all kinds of other herbs out there that, that, that do the same thing over here. We have like um, all these different mango seeds, things that you've, I've never even heard of in the United States that are, that are good for your health over here. And um, we also have one if, if you have kidney stones or gall stones. They have one over here for that. Um, if you if you if you get a lot of that stuff, you can you can you can take that that type of herb. You want to learn those guys if you're over here because for you go to the, for you to go to the hospital over here, it's cheap, yes, but a lot of the stuff you can alleviate with herbs over here. And I found that the herbs to be really really good. If you ever get a blood clot, guys, the, the best thing you can take for it is regular cinnamon. You know, just put some cinnamon on something and it and it has uh, cumin in it or whatever it is, the same medicine that they give you for blood clots. So if you ever think if you're pr if you're prone to blood clots guys, cinnamon is like a like a a really good defense of that. It helps uh, alleviate that, but it's not good for I believe it's your, your kidney your kidney I think it is if you have too much of it. So you want to be careful and kind of go slow on that. But but the good thing about cinnamon is it also lowers your blood sugar. So you want to be take it but take it not, like maybe two capsules, two large capsules a day. That would be the max I would take, guys, of, of that. Um, the other thing is fish. I'd be careful of eating freshwater fish over here because they have tilapia. It's not the healthiest fish in the world. In fact, it's one of the fish that, that throughout the world that they say has the most um, like toxins in it and stuff like that. It's not a healthy fish to eat. Okay, Tilapia is just not a healthy fish. Um, the fish from the ocean around here are pretty good. Most of them are not farm-raised. So, like, if you get the fish from the, the ocean here, and you can you can order fish online through, like, uh, Rare Foods, places like that. Um, the fish here is pretty decent. Um, the best way to do it is broil it. Um, I wouldn't fry it just to stay healthy. Just broil it and or bake it and have it that way. You know, start changing your diet up, guys. Start eating healthier. Over here, you can get a lot of fresh fruits. Pineapple is really, really good. You know, it's also good if you have a cough or anything like that, any lung ailments, because it has bromelain in it. Um, it's, it's definitely one of the ones that you want to put in your diet is, is pineapple. Pineapple is really, really healthy for you guys. And also put some lemon juice in your diet every day or lemonade. Even if you put a little sugar in it to sweeten it up or something like that, have that a little bit. Or put some honey in there or something to sweeten it up. Maybe get some, you know, really good honey, some healthy honey. But be careful of Filipino honeys over here, guys. A lot of the honey over here is fake honey. And there's, there's videos out there to tell you how to check to see if it's real or it's fake. So make sure, like if you're getting like a good Manuka honey or something like that, that's real. They have some online through Lazada. Just because you're getting stuff from Lazada does not make it real, guys. There's a lot of fake stuff out there. A lot of fake, there's even fake medicines, medications on there. So be really careful of what, about what you order. Make sure you have good sources of where that stuff's coming from. And also, guys... Make sure that when you order herbs on Lazada, it's coming from 
really good companies with brand name stuff you know, that you know is real and that's the best way to get it and you can get these from the malls around here the herbs around here are a little bit cheaper than the US I notice they're still a little expensive but they're cheaper than the US so that's a good thing guys but you know like for vegetables and things like that the markets around here are incredible and if you guys live out in the provinces you guys should be growing whatever type of vegetables you want to grow such as zucchini um, eggplant or whatever type of plants you want to grow tomatoes um, all that stuff beans everything squash I mean most of that stuff you can grow here and you know some you can't some you can check to see if you can grow it here zucchini does grow here and zucchini is a delicious thing what I do with zucchini is I fry it over here I fry it on both sides and when I flip it while it's still hot I put some mozzarella sprinkle some mozzarella cheese and put a little bit of pepper and you don't have to put any salt or anything like that because the mozzarella cheese has enough, but you can put salt if you want, but the pepper gives it enough flavor that you can stay away from the salt because it, and also because the cheese has a little bit. And it's just delicious for breakfast. You can throw a couple scrambled eggs over it and just let it cook till it, it you know solidifies. Scoop it up, or you can even put, put the um, zucchini inside an omelet if you want or something like that. If you want to do something like that, it's delicious, you know? And some people cut up the zucchini into pieces, fry it that way with onions and peppers or something and a little bit of ham, throw it into your omelet. It's delicious, you know. But guys, just, you know, eat healthy. You know, I, I, I see too many people over here not eating healthy. I, so I want to do this little video about this because I'm not, I don't eat the healthiest. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm trying to change my diet, trying to get healthier. I used to eat, I, I do take a lot of herbs. I will, I will tell you that I do take a lot of herbs. I do try to eat he as healthy as I can. I do try to stay away from the Philippine diet for the most part. I, 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 you know, Western diet's not that much better, but I try, to, I try to eat as much as I can that I used to eat that was healthy before when I was back in New England. And back in New England, I used to go to Durgan Park, which is a restaurant in Boston, and I used to eat a lot of their stuff. They had stews. They had uh, good fish. Um, chowders and stuff like that. Some of that's not the healthiest, but it's. I used to eat that like that, some really good healthy foods in there. They used to have some really good dinners and stuff like that. It's really great food in there, and you could order a good healthy meal for a reasonable amount of money, and it was just delicious. And I missed that place because it closed down. It was open for over a hundred years. I think maybe even one hundred and fifty years. I'm not sure, but my my grandfather went there when he got off the boat, and. It was one of the first restaurants that he ate at, and then my, you know, we went there with my father for many, many years. Sometimes around Christmas we would go in there, you know, and we would eat there right around Christmas. I think, think either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Sometimes even on Thanksgiving we would go in there, and and I kept that up, you know, up until I, I left going into Durgan Park up until they closed. I used to go in there every once in a while. I used to love that place for their healthy foods, and they had really good meats too, really healthy meats. Um, and I do miss a lot of New England foods over here. You know, and I, I miss a lot of the root vegetables, you know, over here. Because potatoes and carrots over here are harder to get. You can get them, but they're harder to get and they're more expensive. You know, and I like to have like a, a good beef stew every once in a while, something like that, or a, a beef soup or a chicken soup or something like that. You know, and, and it's, granted, you got the salts in there and you got to be kind of careful, but you got to drink a lot of liquids over here too, guys, to wash that salt out of your system. And I know salt is like, you need it for the taste. And sometimes it's kind of hard to get away from that. But guys, try to cut off that salt because you're going to get high blood pressure over here. We're all aging. Most expats are aging individuals like, like myself. We're all getting up there at age. I'm, I'm heading towards 60 really fast here. And I know some of you guys are in your 60s and 70s and some of you are in your 50s or 40s. But be careful because, like I said, when I got here because of the change in diet, First thing that happened was, happened was my, my blood pressure popped up. So I want you guys to be careful of that too. My sugar has actually been doing pretty good over here because I've been taking a lot of the herbs to keep that down. Like I said, umpalaya and the cinnamon has helped to keep that down. And that's great because my, my sugar is, is so low that I'm not even, I'm not even diabetic or pre-diabetic. And I've never been diabetic yet, fortunately. I've never been diabetic. But my doctor said I was getting close there for a while and now I'm, I'm not again. So I'm really happy about that. 
and kind of proud of that actually that I I'm not I'm not at that level you know so and I don't ever want to be and I do everything that I can do do to try to stay away from that and you know also my cholesterol my cholesterol's popped up and down but whenever it starts popping up I just go right back on the oatmeal and I should stick to the oatmeal from now on and I'm gonna actually order some oatmeal tonight guys and you can get like the all the different flavors be careful the ones with the high sugar and stuff like that um, you can get ones with banana you can get ones with uh, apple cinnamon apple cinnamon might, might actually be good to keep your sugar low and just add a little bit of, bit more cinnamon in there to kind of keep your sugar levels lower okay and that's just a thought you can get the brown sugar um, maple and brown sugar or maple um, and then there's also spices too which is pretty decent so all those are, are good oatmeals um, and there's not really a lot of sugar in there guys there's not there's not a lot of sugar in it so I don't think you have to worry because it's it's a small amount it's enough to just fill up your stomach and oatmeal kind of keeps you from eating more because it sits in your stomach for a while which prevents you from eating more more food and, and gaining weight and stuff like that so that's that's also a consideration like I said it does clear out your arteries and stuff like that And if you throw the cinnamon in it's gonna keep your sugar down and everything so anyway guys just want to throw that out there change it up a little bit and talk a little bit about diet and I do want you guys to be careful because like I said over here most expats are, are dying at age 72 just like Filipinos and it has to do with the diet and it also has to do with the hospitals here and the hospital so you need to be near a good hospital when you're over here if you want to live longer and you need to get health checks up checkups twice a year and you need to keep take take care of your dental hygiene guys when you get over here floss your teeth twice a day and, and, and make sure you do that because believe it or not your gums have to do with your heart listen to me on this your, your heart is connected to your gums somehow they don't really know why but they know that people that floss, floss their teeth have healthier hearts and people that take care of their teeth they have healthier hearts so consider that in, in your daily regimen that you take care of your teeth and you floss your teeth daily okay and I can't stress that enough and go to a dentist around here guys get your dental hygiene your dental care taken care of go to a good dentist find a good dentist I've talked about bad dentists here before go to like uh, a, 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 a university hospital if you're around me go to De La Salle University Hospital if you're up in Manila I'm sure you can find some excellent dentists up there and not even have an issue but anyway guys God bless take care I hope that helps guys